Magic 1075975. We're back with Tony Braxton in the house. Hey. <laughs> um, so so much to catch up on. Okay. New album, May yes. 4th. May 4th. Pulse. Yes. And the single is. The newest single is Hands Tied. Hands Tied. Yeah. Tell me about that. Love the song. It's super sexy. Um, oh, I like that. It's super about sexy. being in love and being with someone and yeah. loving them with your hands tied or your toes tied oh. or your ankles tied or oh. whatever. Oh, oh. Grown and sexy song. Oh, and I hear pretty much that that's what pulse is. It's grown and sexy. It's, it's refreshing. Sexy. It's mature. Yeah. This is coming from one of our male listeners that said, oh, you that's know what? Cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's so good. it's it's super sexy, but it's speaking to both of us. Men yeah, men absolutely. and women, right? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty pretty usually in the past I, I would speak to my girls, but there's a song on the album called Woman. That I'm speaking to guys. I'm telling the guy, look, this this is how women want to be treated. This is what we want. This is what we need. These are our issues, and hopefully they'll get inspired and do something about it. Wonderful. Yeah. I really but it's, like a, that. it's a it's a it's a sappy song. Meaning, okay, it's like Bridget Jones' Diary. You home? You've had a cocktail. You drink and you sing the song to yourself. It's that type of song. So what really inspired that? You just felt it was time to really let them know from. And we I think we we tell them. I'm not sure if they're listening, but we probably don't tell them the way we should, I think. You know, and me being newly separated, everything's kind of very familiar to me. Goodness. So okay. I can probably narrate my story best right now. But you you probably still have a lot of women in the background say, hallelujah, that's it. That's right. my story. <laughs> Sing Definitely. that song Definitely. and let them know. Okay. Um, and you, you've had to, in many ways, live your life and relationship and marriage and mm -hmm. Is it a separation or a divorce? We're legally separated. Okay. Yeah. Out loud. How has yeah. that been for you? It's been a bit challenging because I have kids. So I'm forced to talk about things before I want to with my family right. because I want them to hear it from me instead of reading it or hearing it from someone else. And has it happened that way before? Where you? Yeah. Well, I'm parenthood, I'm new at it. I'm just beginning parenthood because yeah. they're seven and eight. So yeah. now is where I get to apply all the things oh, I've read okay. and was taught as a child growing up myself. So it's like practice the practicum right now so yeah. it's been, been a bit challenging but I have, to, I have I was forced to tell my kids that mommy and daddy are separated goodness I didn't want to do that and then having to do that and being such a public person and all eyes yeah. you know are on the situation and of yeah. course one one very I guess highly publicized of all eyes are watching right. the, the kiss the <laughs> so my question is <laughs> the the, the kiss. so what, kiss. what we were separated so, well before okay, the kids. So that's no one a, knew that's, that. Okay, so that's my question. Yeah. Which came first? And this is from you, not from oh, anybody. Yeah. Okay, okay. I heard this. I heard that. No, the separation. This is from you. Which came first? The, the separation. The kiss Trey or the, the separation? That okay. first and then the kiss. What happened was, um, I think when me and Trey did the kiss, and I think people talked about it, and friends or people close to us said, well, they're separated. And that's how it got out. And it said, oh, well, then by the time it ended up, it was like, oh, her and Trey kissed, and then it got separated. I mean, I'm a grown woman. One kiss ain't going to make me separate. I'm working. <laughs> I kissed Trey, what's his name? Tay Diggs, too. And, and Kevin and Hill. Yeah. And that didn't do anything, you know. Okay. But I just think because it was rumors that right. we were separated that it came out that way. Right. Was it planned? The kiss was semi-planned. Okay. Meaning um, we were in rehearsals, and Fatima, the choreographer for the show, said, you know what? The song is a sad love song. I wish it had a gave people hope when you mm -hmm. see a person yesterday you say it but sometimes you get back together yeah. maybe you guys should do something fun Trey Tony would you guys kiss each other and I said like a kiss on the cheek and she said no like a kiss like a kiss kiss on the lips and Trey's like I could do that <laughs> of <laughs> course I could do that he, you know he was mad cool Trey's always right. cool and so we checked each other lips for the cooties <laughs> And it was fine. And no cooties. No cooties. Cootie check. That's exactly. so funny. And it was great. I mean, I didn't yeah. think about it until like an hour later. I was like, wow, Trey lips are really soft. It was Ooh. nice. <laughs> Can mm. we do that again? It's lovely. <laughs> but he, he's, a one, he's a sweetheart. But yeah. we, we tease each other. He calls me Demi since that. Since then, and I call him Ashton. Well, but we're just friends. <laughs> hey, so Ashton. Hey. Hey there. <laughs> okay, so with the separation, do you think there, that we can kind of get it back together? Are you looking to... Can't tell yet. Still okay. new. We've been separated over a year. Um, so, can't tell yet. Okay, so we're, we're going to... I haven't started dating yet. Okay. I haven't had one teeny date. You think you would? You I'm not ready. But more yeah. so, you know what? Work has been keeping me busy. And yeah. I have two kids. And my youngest is autistic. Right. And even though he's doing great, that keeps me pretty occupied because I don't have a nanny. So when I'm home, I'm Your home. mommy, that's My mom time. takes care when I'm not home yeah. with my in-laws, my husband's family. But I don't have a nanny at all when I'm home. Not even a teeny That's That's good, though. Yeah. You know, but now tell us about your little one when you found out and how did you find out 
that he was autistic? I think I knew because I had something to compare it to. Not that you should compare your children, but my oldest son, was di he, Diesel just developed differently than his older brother. His okay. older brother had eye contact. Diesel had almost no eye contact. He wouldn't answer if you called his name. He wouldn't respond to sounds. Okay. So at first they thought he was hearing impaired. Um, and we did lots of tests, which came out inconclusive because at two, they don't throw the ball correctly when they're supposed to. They don't right. participate. Right. So lots of little things like that. By the time it was all over, they said, we think he has something called aproxia, which is like a delay mm -hmm. in, in just in learning or social. But by the time it was all said and done, when I put him in school, when I moved to Vegas, and they called me and said, you have to come get him, he should not be in school. Mm. He's not equipped for this. And that's when I, because I had taken him to several doctors, and they said, oh, he's okay, he's okay. You know, no two kids develop the same, which is true, but as his mom, I knew something was quite just different. Tell. Just that. something inside. Yeah. Just, totally just his whole development was completely different, completely different. So, so we, that's when we found that he was autistic. He was three and a half years old, actually three and two months when they diagnosed him. So, so is that around the age range where you may notice that's maybe starting two know, and above? I, knew, or I think about you? a year and a half a parent can tell. I think okay. some parents can tell earlier. Just when you look at how a child should develop, develop from age to age, you can kind of tell. Some okay. things are just, some kids are just a little slower than others and they catch up later because the first thing they want to know is, was he full term? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and he had, and he was. He was full term. Okay. So, I mean, 37 and a half weeks is pretty much full right. term. But right. it was a bit challenging because I blamed myself. I thought it was my fault. I think Why? that all parents do that. You just think, is there something I could have done that I could did I take my vitamins every day? You know, you blame yourself. And it took me a long time to get past that stage, but mm -hmm. someone from um, Autism Speaks reached out to me, and that's how I got involved in that organization. That is an incredible yeah. PSA. I love yeah, it. Absolutely. Thanks for that. Thanks, thanks. So what would you say to parents that may not know or may have a question about, I'm not sure if... This I would say, you know, just trust your gut. It never lies until you get them tested. If you have to take them to three and four different doctors, do that. Um, sometimes things are in the family. Mm -hmm. this mean, it doesn't mean it's like hereditary, but say, like that uncle that used to hit himself on the head or do things, just behavior things. You know, so that's Uncle Pookie used to mm -hmm, do stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. That's normal. It's not, not normal. necessarily normal. And I don't like to say that autistic right, kids right, right. are not normal. They're just wired differently. Right, right. So we just have to have them become more mainstream. But I think autistic kids are the new wave of the world. Yeah. Because they have these beautiful spirits and these beautiful hearts, and they're smart, and they can have insight on things yeah. we could never understand. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So, um, I, I'm, I'm a mom, single mom of a 14-year-old, okay. okay. and I just, and we're busy, but I can't yeah. even imagine what your life encompasses with already what's on your plate, and then having that. Your support systems, you, your family. My you family's have, great. I yeah, have good so bad days, I can tell you. Today's a good day. That's good. Yesterday was a little crunchy. Yeah. But today is a it's good a, day. It's yes. a real good day. Yes.